early analysis of trials involving 20,000 volunteers in Britain and Brazil show the Oxford University AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine is at least 70% effective after two doses. In volunteers given a different dosing regime, a half dose followed by a full dose, that figure rose to 90%. None of those given the vaccine developed severe COVID-19. To me, it really feels like a, a great moment that we've got now multiple vaccines. If we can get them rolled out as soon as possible, we're going to have a big impact. AstraZeneca plans to begin supplying hundreds of millions of doses by the end of the year, subject to regulatory approval. Doctors say several properties of the vaccine make it suitable for global rollout. The first is cost. So this vaccine has been priced about one-fifth to one-tenth of the cost reportedly um, uh, being sought by Pfizer and Moderna, the other, some of the other leading vaccine candidates. AstraZeneca has pledged it won't make a profit on the vaccine during the pandemic. In 10 countries, it's already being manufactured, including a very large manufacturing partner in India. Um, so we hope to see very large numbers of doses become available very quickly. And then thirdly, this vaccine only requires kind of fridge temperature storage. By contrast, the Pfizer vaccine requires storage at minus 70 degrees Celsius. Many health systems in developing nations lack refrigeration facilities to store medicines at ultra-cold temperatures. So far, 188 countries have signed up to an initiative called COVAX, where richer countries invest in the development of several vaccines and the infrastructure required for rolling them out across the globe. And the goal um, in, in a perfect world would be that um, each of the countries that sign up for COVAX would receive enough vaccine for 20 percent of their populations by the end of 2021. Now, that's an aspiration, of course, not a guarantee, um, but that would allow every country to at least begin to cover the most vulnerable um, frontline workers, etc. It's possible the leading vaccine candidates will be given emergency approval by regulators in the coming weeks raising hopes that the world is on the brink of a major breakthrough in the fight against the pandemic. In the meantime, doctors say it's vital that people follow measures to suppress the transmission of the virus. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.